as the SNP struggled to keep their party together over this uh, leadership election, the Liberal Democrats out of nowhere have come out to be very excited about the prospects of a Lib Dem Scottish government. <laughs> Yep, this is not a joke. Sir Ed Davey, you remember him? Yeah, the leader of the Lib Dems, which was a political party, which apparently still exists, are very excited. <laughs> Ed Davey has said that the SMP in fighting presents a perfect opportunity for the Liberal Democrats. And they even had the Lib Dem press office. Ooh, they have a press office and everything. The Liberal Democrats media with a blue tick on Twitter even tweeted that. So exciting, guys. The Liberal Democrats. The comeback kids. They're so excited. People forgot about them. Now they have to tweet that. So we know they're still alive. So, <laughs> it's not the first time, by the way, that the Liberal Democrats got overexcited about things. About elections. About opportunities. Do you remember, for those of you who remember, well, recently, <laughs> last election, we had uh, Joe Swinson. Um, and they had this uh, literature uh, that was uh, produced for her, saying, Joe Swinson, Britain's next Prime Minister, investing in our schools, tackling the climate change, oh, I'm falling asleep, oh my God, yeah, so don't, don't do that, don't do a Hillary Clinton. Yeah, do you remember Hillary Clinton when, uh, in 2016, uh, she did a tweet and addressed herself in third person, saying, happy birthday to this future president? Yeah, don't do that, it's a bad idea. And for those who have better memory, Remember the 80s when you had David Steele, uh, the liberal who came out and said, and the whole of the establishment saying, go home, go back to your constituencies and prepare for government where we are coming. We are ready. That's what they said. None of that happened, by the way. It's not the first time. It's not going to be the last time. And we're always going to keep this in archive for the next election. So what did they say, actually? So you have um, Sir Davy. Uh, it's funny how all the leaders of the, uh, leaders of the uh, left-wing parties, they're all knighted these days, they're all sirs. Sir Keir Starmer, Sir Ed Davey, you're going to have Sir Humza Useless. Um, I'm sorry, Yusuf. Anyway, Davey said, we are fighting the Conservatives in many parts of England. And here in Scotland, it's the SNP. I think we've got a message which is resonating with voters in the way that the SNP are forgetting them. What are you talking about, mate? It, it, okay, you know why they're saying this? Because they got a little bit excited because they had, a, they had one tiny victory at a local election. <laughs> and it was a by-election, by the way. So you had a by-election in Scotland near Edinburgh. Uh, and the Lib Dems, they won. They gained this seat from the SNP. And by the way, it's a multi-member ward. And they basically Lib Dems went up by 6.5%. The SNP went down by 5.4%. But let's not forget that the Conservatives went down by 6.3%. So technically, the Lib Dems got most of the Conservative vote rather than the SNP vote. Um, and that's the reality because the Independent vote's gone up by 7.7%. So the Independent vote essentially replaced the SNP vote as well as the Labour vote and the Labour, uh, Green vote. The Lib Dems have always been closer to the Conservatives when it comes to these sort of constituencies. So they've got that vote. But they're pretending and claiming that we, we basically, this is it. Go home, back to your constituencies. We are becoming the new Scottish government. You won one by-election in Edinburgh. <laughs> it's a council election. It's not even a constituency. This is the problem with the British politi uh, political system, by the way. Uh, everything is based on fake it till make it. So you're going to have so many people who just lie and lie and lie. And they never get anywhere. But all they do is they undermine our British political culture. A lot of people are going to be more put off in terms of voting, even especially young people, when they see these sort of things. It's just not really healthy for democracy and for British politics. Speaking of uh, health and British politics, we're going to come back in half an hour, take a quick break. We're going to talk about uh, another democratically elected leader, Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, who has uh, accidentally exposed himself in public. <laughs> not like that. Uh, we're going to come back. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media. <laughs> 